Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video we are going to discuss Jawaharlal Nehru's famous speech A Tryst with Destiny. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. The speech was delivered by Jawaharlal Nehru. He was the first prime minister of India. The speech was delivered on August 14th, 1947. Now apart from this we see where was the speech delivered that is the speech was delivered to the constituent assembly of india at the parliament house in new delhi and why was the speech delivered this speech basically reflects on india's journey to independence and emphasizes the responsibilities that come with freedom through this speech nehru calls for unity hard work and dedication for nation building Jawaharlal Nehru was the first prime minister of independent India. He was a key figure in the Indian independence movement and he was a close associate of Mahatma Gandhi. And we all know him because it is his fondness for children that is why we celebrate Children's Day on his birthday that is 14th of November. This is a very famous speech and a tryst with destiny signifies that historic moment when India gained independence from the British colonial rule. The phrase tryst with destiny suggests a deep and meaningful encounter with fate or destiny. It was by destiny by chance that India was destined to become free, highlighting the significance or the importance of the occasion when India got independence. and at the same time emphasizing the responsibilities that had now come for india to remain free forever I will first provide you a summary of the speech to you that will help you to understand overall what it is about and then we will proceed into the line by line explanation don't worry it will not take much time so nehru begins the speech by acknowledging the historical significance of that moment when india got free he compares this moment to a very rare occasion in history marking the transition or the change that was happening from old to new it was a time where India's struggle for freedom had finally ended and it emphasizes the nation's hard work which led to multiple failures and then the ultimate success of attaining freedom however he feels that freedom is not just something that is acquired once and the thing is over the responsibility of freedom is great and it has to be something that has to be worked upon from time to time so he calls upon the constituent assembly to dedicate themselves to the service of the country and humanity and also outlines the challenges that will come in the way he acknowledges that the other challenges that come along with freedom in the context of india were poverty ignorance of the people because of lack of education and spread of diseases that is health care was another field where they needed to pay attention and then he urges bravery among people and using their reasoning capacities wisdom intellect to face the upcoming situations in the future next three highlights of the speech are unity and service he calls for unity solidarity among the indian people and highlights that service of india is the main thing that will help indians to be free from suffering and inequality secondly it talks about international cooperation that is there has to be solidarity not just among the citizens of india but also a solidarity with other nations who were still struggling for freedom and pledges for cooperation with other countries to promote peace freedom and democracy there is also a tribute or a homage that he paid to the freedom fighters like mahatma gandhi and others and recognizes their sacrifices and emphasizes the importance of upholding their legacy because 
each life mattered and finally we see towards the end he says that all citizens must work towards fulfilling india's potential he stresses on the importance of achieving communal harmony and international cooperation now the very beginning of the speech is very iconic see what he says long years ago we made a tryst with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge not wholly or in full measure but very substantially that is he is paying a lot of weightage to the fact that with chance and destiny we have achieved freedom and need, we need to work towards it and now look at the classic and the most iconic lines at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom a moment comes which comes but rarely in history when we step out from the old to the new when an age ends and when the soul of a nation long suppressed finds utterance that is the soul of the nation people were suppressed they were facing tortures but now is the time when we can talk move about freely it is fitting that at this solemn moment when we take the pledge of dedication to the service of india and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity at the dawn of history india started on her unending quest and trackless centuries are filled with her striving and grandeur of her success and failures that is constant success and failures were witnessed till this moment that we have reached today through good and ill fortunate alike she has never lost sight of the quest that is there were many challenges that came in the way but never did people give up the strength we end today a period of misfortunes and india discovers herself again the achievement we celebrate today is but a step an opening of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that it await us that is this is not the end of the freedom struggle this was just the beginning he has rightly pointed out because from 1947 to the current year 2024 you can imagine how much people of india have worked to make it be where the country is today are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future see what he highlights next freedom and power bring responsibility the responsibility rests upon this assembly a sovereign body representing the sovereign people of india before the birth of freedom we have endured all the pains of labor and our hearts are heavy with the memory of this sorrow some of these pains continue even now nevertheless the past is over and it is the future that beckons us now that is you know it's not just freedom you need to realize how to use that time that you have got that freedom that you have got and he is saying that there have been a lot of hurt a lot of wounds which the pains of which we still feel today but we need to continue to work we cannot get tired next he says the future is not one of ease or resting but one of incessant striving so that we may fulfill the pledges we have so often taken and the one that we shall take today that is he is saying that we have to continue to work hard in the time is not yet over the service of india means the service of the millions who suffer it means the ending of poverty and ignorance and poverty and disease and inequality of opportunity that is he was wanting the ideals which would be laid down in the constitution by 1960 he is already pointing it out now that poverty ignorance all this has to end all the people of the country are important and should be given equal opportunities the ambition of the greatest men of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye what a beautiful line that may be beyond us but as long as there are tears and suffering so long our work will not be over that is he had a vision to wipe out the tears to end the suffering of each and every person and he said that it is not in their capacity to do it for all considering the vast 
expanse of the indian country but he said that nevertheless we will continue to work on till we are able to end the suffering of the citizens of india all the people of india whose representatives we are we make an appeal to join us with faith and confidence in this great adventure this is no time for petty and destructive criticism no time for ill will or blaming others we have to build the noble mansion of free india where all her children may dwell so he is wanting to see that the future generations should also be able to live peacefully and he wants the faith and confidence of everyone don't make small criticism or indulge in petty kind of issues the appointed day has come the day appointed by destiny and india stands forth again after long slumber and struggle awake vital free and independent the past cling long to us still in some measure and we have to do much before we redeem the pledges we have so often taken yet the turning point is past and history begins anew for us the history which we shall live and act and others will write about so he is saying that you know this is going to be a remarkable moment which will be written about which will be discussed in the future and don't you see that true because this is a speech given in 1947 and we are discussing it today in 2024 It is a fateful moment for us in India for all Asia and for the world a new star rises the star of freedom in the east a new hope comes into being a vision long cherished materializes may the star never set and that hope never be betrayed so betrayed sorry so he is basically saying that after so much of struggle you can imagine what he is saying that you know after so much of toil labor hard work we have come here today let this hope Hope never diminish. Let it never die. Let us take India further ahead. Let the graph go up and beyond from here now. we rejoice in that freedom even though clouds surround us and many of our people are sorrow stricken and difficult problems encompass us but freedom brings responsibilities and burdens and we have to face them in the spirit of a free and disciplined people on this day our first thoughts go to the architect of this freedom the father of our nation who embodying the old spirit of india held a law the torch of freedom and lighted up the darkness that surrounded us we have often been unworthy followers of his and have strayed from his message that we have moved away from his message this is the part where he is referring to mahatma gandhi we have often been unworthy followers of his but only we but succeeding generations will remember this message and bear the imprint in their hearts of this great son of india he calls him the son of india we shall never allow the torch of freedom them to be blown out however high the wind or stormy the tempest tempest again means storm so he is saying that no matter what we are not going to look back or stop we need to relentlessly go on our next thoughts must be of the unknown volunteers and soldiers of freedom who without praise or reward have served india even on to death that is the people who have served india who sacrificed their lives they never asked for any reward yet they went on and we need to take inspiration from them and continue to move towards achieving a vision of a free and independent india
think also of our brothers and sisters who have been cut off from us by political boundaries and who unhappily cannot share at present in the freedom that has come they are of us and will remain of us whatever may happen and we shall be sharers in their good or ill fortunes alike so here he is referring to the recent partition of india with pakistan that even they were a part of india but now because of political constraints there have been boundaries lines which have been drawn however we have empathy for them the future beckons us whither do we go and what shall be our endeavor to bring freedom and opportunity to the common man to the peasants and the workers of india to fight and end poverty and ignorance and disease to build up a prosperous that is rich democratic and progressive nation and to create social economic and political institutions which will ensure justice and fullness of life to every man and woman so you can imagine how he is saying that there will have to be a division made in terms of different sectors and accordingly we will have to move ahead and you know divide the work so that each aspect of life of india can be taken care of we have hard work ahead there is no resting for any of us till we redeem our pledge in full till we make all the people of india what destiny intended them to be we are citizens of a great country on the verge of bold advance and we have to live up to that high standard all of us to whatever religion we may belong are equally the children of india with equal rights privileges and obligations we cannot encourage communalism or narrow mindedness for no nation can be great whose people are narrow in thought or in action to the nations and the peoples of the world we send greetings and pledge ourselves to cooperate with them in furthering peace freedom and democracy and to india our much loved motherland the ancient the eternal and the ever new we pay our reverent homage and we bind ourselves afresh to her service so you see how he personifies india as mother and he says that we have an obligation we need to see the happy parts the sorrows and we need to embrace india in its totality and ensure that this new found freedom is something which is not just felt by us but it is something where each and every citizen of india feels free that reminds me of another poem that is live on my channel rabindranath tagore's where the mind is without fear you can also go and have a look at it to be able to understand the sentiments that jawaharlal nehru was trying to portray at that time so firstly to look at the major themes of this speech it talks about independence and responsibility that comes he stresses the need for hard work and dedication to build a prosperous and just nation then he calls for unity among people of india and emphasizes the importance of serving the nation and the humanity he expresses solidarity with those who are not yet free and pledges to cooperate with other nations in order to achieve peace freedom and democracy worldwide and lastly he pays tribute to mahatma gandhi and the other freedom fighters who sacrificed for india's independence he emphasizes the importance of remembering their message and carrying it forward for future generations so we see how this speech holds within it the hopes aspirations and the challenges of a newly independent india calling on its people to work together towards a better future